Man, we're right here in Portland, Oregon, and man, I messed up big time, man. Big, big time. So it's 8.30 right now, but when I was getting unloaded around 7, 7.30, I was getting scared because there was no loads on the load board. And um, I thought there was something on my hat. But yeah, I was scared and I was like, man, I'm not gonna get anything to go back home. I didn't wanna get stuck out here. And uh, hold on. There was only like one load on the load board, a load of lumber, heavy load, 45,000 pounds. And they were literally paying a dollar a mile. And I just remembered I did a video saying that I wouldn't accept a load for a dollar a mile, but I mean, I needed to go back home and that's the only thing that could take me back home for a dollar a mile. So I was like, it pays for fuel. So I booked it, but then I was like, man, I don't know. It just didn't sit right with me. So like some loads have been popping up now. They're all trying to pay under a dollar, but I just know, I just, I don't know if I could do this load, man. So I remember the girl telling me, call the shipper before you get there. So I, I was like, oh man. So I, I keep looking on the load board. There's nothing. So I'm like, man, I, I'm gonna be stuck with this load. So I call the shipper and I'm like, oh, I'm like 20, 30 minutes away. They're like, give me your pickup number. And I gave it to them. They're like, this load was supposed to be picked up tomorrow. I was like, oh, well, I guess that sucks, right? He's like, he's like, I guess we could try to work you in. And I was like, okay. But now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait it out a little bit, keep looking on the load board if I can find anything else I'm gonna book it for if there's anything better out there and I'm gonna call this broker and I'm gonna be like well this load was supposed to be picked up tomorrow or yesterday and they're gonna only put me down as a working so I'm gonna have to cancel so that's the plan right now we'll see though man hopefully something else pops up man 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 oh man looks like I'm stuck with this load because there's nothing else out there man Nothing. Nada. Ah, I know you guys are going to kill me for this, but I had to take the slow, man. I had to do it. Or what would you guys do, man? Would you guys just go home, uh, go home empty 500 miles, or would you take that a dollar a mile load? I don't know. I'm 50-50 right now, to be honest. But, I'm doing the load, so I guess I'm not. I guess I chose with just taking the load and it, it paid for my fuel, I guess. So I'm not gonna pay for anything else. That's for sure. But what would you guys do? Comment down below right now. I mean, either way, it's not a W for me, it's a it's an L. But yeah, it's an L. Either way. If I wouldn't have took the load, I probably would have went home empty and that would have been a super L. So man, I don't know. Yeah. Either way we're taking an L, man. What is this river called? Over here in uh, Portland, Oregon. Is this a river? Portland River, is that what it's called? I don't know. But this river right here separates uh, Washington and Oregon. On the other side of this river, it's Washington. And on this side, it's Oregon, so. Just in case you guys didn't know. Oh, we got the airport right here to our left. Southwest. So I guess if you guys come to Portland, Oregon, you guys are gonna land here at this airport. Man, we about to smoke this airplane. Delta. Oh, I think he just landed actually. that up over there taking it to Oliver's California 
They're low to me right now. This is Portland, Oregon for you guys. It's a nice city, but a lot of homeless. A lot of homeless in the city. Look at that. Man, this street is just filled with homeless. Trash everywhere. My goodness. trash cans right there for them look at oh it, it hasn't stopped it hasn't stopped look look at those trash cans that they have for them oh look at this guy passing me up uh, i guess i am going 10 miles under the speed limit oh my god look at all this Find somebody, but it's kind of a pain in the butt. 
lot to find someone throughout the weekend. Yeah, so this whole time, see how I still have my blue IFTA tags or the IFTA stickers? Well, I finally got the green ones, the 2023 ones. So I guess that, I don't know, I just forgot to register for 2023. So got that done like two uh, a week ago and we're all good now. So I guess you could say I was riding dirty. But when I go to do my first quarter IFTA, I'm pretty sure they're gonna find me but we'll see, cause I'm gonna do that later on today. So right now, so right now we're heading to our delivery. We made it home last night. <clears throat> made it home like around 10. Right now it's 8, 16. And the place is only two miles down the street from the yard where I park at. So it might take a while to unload me. I've been here, they're not the fastest, but they're also not the slowest, but we'll see. Probably be there taking 15, five minutes. These streets are small though, so I gotta make some wide turns. I barely clear that ditch too. I guess the loader, he dropped those pallets over there, or Whatever that right there. But now we're just gonna clean this mess up, blow it out. Got the blower right here, just had to take those things out. Hey. 